So we're going to journalize or we're going to post the transactions that we have put in um, that we're taking from this journal here on this problem that's in the book. And this is it on the left hand side. So we're going to look at this. We are going to debit accounts receivable $3,800. We go over here to accounts receivable T account that we made. And we're going to go on the left side is the debit side. We're going to debit that. A fifth, we're debiting it $3,800. Okay. The second line says service revenue credit $3,800. So we're going to go over here to the service revenue. The right hand side is the credit side. So we're going to credit service revenue $3,800. Okay. That one's done. We're going to go to the next one. May 12th, we're going to debit cash, $1,600. We go to the debit side, May 12th, $1,600. We're debiting cash, $1,600. Left side is debit side. Second part, accounts receivable, credit, $1,600. So we're going to take $1,600 on the accounts receivable, and we're going to put it on the Credit side, we're crediting accounts receivable $1,600. We're then going to come down to cash transaction, May 15th. We're going to debit cash $2,000. So we're going to go May 15th, debit cash $2,000. And the second part of that transaction is we're going to credit revenue $2,000. So we're going to go over to revenue and we're going to credit revenue $2,000. Okay, now we're going to balance them. And what I do is I balance the ones that have the least amount of numbers first, just to make it simple. So if we're looking at this one here, now remember the balance only goes on the normal side. The balance goes on the normal side. Oh, I'm missing. What did I do? Oh, forgot to, uh, I put this in the wrong spot. See, I made a mistake. I debited accounts receivable $2,000 here and it should have been cash. So I would have been off later when I went to go um, balance my cash. I would have $2,000 more than I should have had because I put it in the wrong account. So I'm going to move that down here. All right, so now I've got it in the correct place. Okay, nobody called me on that, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna balance these. So uh, let's do cash first. So the balance goes on the normal side, right? And cash is an asset. Assets have a debit balance. So that's going to be on the left-hand side. And so we're going to take $1,600 plus $2,000. That means our balance is going to be $3,600. So right now, you just have your balance and you have $3,600. Later on in the class, you're going to be putting a date there, right? So, and it's, the date is gonna be um, the end of the month day, but then there's a different thing that happens at some point. So we'll, we'll talk more about that later. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to service revenue. We have $3,800 plus $2,000, right? Service revenue is normally a credit balance account. So it is on the correct side. So we're gonna put balance $5,800, okay? So our balance is $5,800 for service revenue on the credit side. We're then going to come over to accounts receivable. And we see on accounts receivable that we have a debit and we have a credit. And if we go back to where we looked at the beginning of this chapter on how we balance the accounts, we look at which side is the bigger side. And in this case, $3,800 is more than $1,600, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract $1,600 from $3,800, and that gives us $2,200. And so the balance is going to go on the bigger side, which accounts receivable is an asset. Assets have a debit balance, so it is on the correct side. So the balance is going to be $2,200. Oops, $2,200. Now, again, in this class, your balance is going to be on the normal side for the account. If it's a credit balance account normally, it's going to be on the credit side. If it's a debit balance, it's going to be on the debit side. If you have a balance on a, on a different side, like let's just say, for instance, that um, you had, I'm just putting this down here. Let's just say, for instance, you had this. 
let's say this was a hundred dollars over here like that okay then this would mean that your accounts receivable would be um sixteen hundred dollars minus a hundred that would mean that the balance would be fifteen hundred on the credit side well that's wrong because in this class everything's going to be on the normal side and the normal side for accounts receivable, which is an asset, is the debit side, okay? So I just put that there to kind of show you an example. All right, 